In the Quran, Allah said, يَوْمَ نَقُولُ لِجَحَنَّمْ on the, day, on the day Allah said, when we will speak to Jahannam, Allah talked, remember, remember, the hellfire, hellfire is not a place, that's like a little dungeon, you know that, right? That's all this pagan Christian stuff where they think hellfire is a little place beneath the earth, you know, where the, the, the devil is the king of the hell, no, no, hellfire is a beast. Hellfire speaks. Hellfire roars. Hellfire breathes in. Hellfire breathes out. Hellfire attacks. Wallahi, hellfire is an animal. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said when the hellfire is being brought down on that day, when that day, Allah is angry. Allah is angry on a day like he's never been angry before. And the hellfire we brought, the hellfire will be uncontrollable. The hellfire will be untamable. So much so that there will be 70,000 ropes. Like when you have a dog, you have a leash, right? Hold the dog. There's going to be 70,000 leashes on Hellfire and each leash will have 70,000 angels. 70,000 angels! Because Hellfire will be out of control! Hellfire will want to destroy the enemies of Allah! Hellfire will want to destroy the sinners, the innovators, the disbelievers! Hellfire will want to swallow them, roast them, toast them, break them, shake them, quake them! Hellfire will want to annihilate them! Because Hellfire is a slave of Allah and it has ghayrah, it has this, 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 this jealous, how dare you disrespect Allah, how dare you disobey! So on that day, when you're there standing in front of Hellfire, the way it will swallow, the way it will take you, the way it will absorb you, brothers, that's not a day to play with. That's not a beast you want to play with. The angels, one, two, three, four, six, seven, ten, hundred angels themselves are struggling to hold it down. 70,000 ropes, 70,000 angels on each rope. Anyone here can do the math? 4.9 billion angels are holding it down. 4.9. How big is an angel? Jibreel has got 600 wings. Jibreel, Jibreel has 600 wings. How big is an angel? Jibreel has 600 wings. On the tip of one of his wings, he lifted up the people of Lot. People of Sodom and Gomorrah. Them man. He picked them up, he picked them up from the tip of his wing, lifted them high, so high that their dogs could be heard by the angels in the first heaven. Then he brought them crashing down just with the tip of one wing. That's how big an angel is. I'm saying, oh, that's Jibreel, of course, he's the grandest of them all. But I'm saying, so you get a gist. Angels are not weak, and there's 4.9 billion of them struggling, bringing hellfire down. So coming back to the ayah, then we come back to the hadith. Allah said, Yawman aqulu li jahannam. On the day we'll speak to this hellfire, this beast, we'll speak to it. What Allah said, had him talat. Are you full? Are you satisfied? Have we settled your hunger, O jahannam? Have you eaten enough of them? Have you burnt enough of them? Allah, one of the scariest verses in the Quran. Hellfire will say, Hal min mazid. Allah, give me more. I'm hungry, Ya Rab, give me more. I'm not full yet. Allah, give me more. But there's no one left. So Allah will take his foot. Yes, Allah has a foot. We don't know how his foot looks. We affirm the name as he told us, but we don't know how. Do I have a hand? Yes. Does the clock have a hand? Yes. Is my hand and the clock's hand the same? No. Allah has a foot. Allah's foot and our foot is not the same. So don't think to yourself like that. But Allah will take his foot and he will place it in hellfire. Allah will have to place his foot there. And then the hellfire will become full and it will say, Qat, 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 Ya Rab. I'm full, enough, 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 enough. And then hellfire will become full. And what does it want? It wants those people that are arrogant. Those people that walk on the streets with their trousers sagging low. <coughs> those people who walk into a room with their head up high, thinking that they're something. But in reality, they're nothing. And Allah will prove that on the day of judgment if they don't repent.